Hello, kiddos. We're back in story time, and today we'll be reading Woman in Science. So we're going to continue over here. Yoki Matsuku is an expert in robotics, the design and use of robots. She grew up in Japan. There, she played a tennis at a high level until an injury forced her to give it up. At the age of 16, she moved to the U.S. to study computer science and engineering. She became interested in how robotics could help people with disabilities. Matsuku has developed technology help for people with movement problems. For example, she developed a robotic arm that the user moves using virtual reality technology. She has also worked on the technology for smart homes. This allows homeowners to adjust heating and other systems in their home via the internet. Yoki Matsuku holds a robotic arm with fingers that have a range of movement. That looks so cool. Yeah, she's so cool. Yep. Radio Perlman is a computer engineer and software designer. In the 1970s, she studied mathematics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. There were very few other women students in her classes. In 1985, she designed the Spanning Tree Parkour. STP. This program allows computer ne networks to link safely and help make the internet possible. Perlman has been called the mother of the internet and won many awards. Juliana Rotich is an expert in information technology. She was born in Kenya. She studied information technology in the U.S. before returning to Kenya. Rotich co-founded the software company Ushahidi. This company develops free software to improve internet access for the Africa and the developing world. Juliana Rotich supports young people interested in technology. Ooh, she seems very kind. Okay, kiddos, I hope you liked today's story time book. I loved it so much. Unicorns, did you like it? I absolutely loved it because I learned a lot of different things today. Yeah, and I hope you did too, kiddos. And I'll see you in the next story time. Bye! Bye.